Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about chemical formula. In chemistry, we have three types of chemical formula. Empirical formula is the first or simplest formula we need to learn. Molecular formula is most commonly used formula in chemistry. And structural formula is another type of formula with more details. Today, I'm going to review these types of formula by reviewing the definition and find what are the difference between them and what similarity are available for each one. First, let me start with the definition we may have for each one. Empirical formula, or I abbreviated as EF, it gives us type of elements available in the formula, type of atoms or elements in the formula. It would be same for molecular formula. Molecular formula, it gives us the same information. So let me write that one. Molecular formula or MF, it gives us the same information, type of elements. We could predict, we could predict when we have any formulas, we should know what type of elements are available in the formula. And it would be same for a structural formula, for a structural formula, or let me abbreviate it by SF. So, so we expect for any type of formula, type of elements are the same or commonly used information we may find in each formula. Whenever we are going to talk about the empirical formula, we need to add this information as well. The simplest, the simplest ratio of atoms, the simplest ratio between the atoms or elements. And this is the only belongs to empirical formula. So this is the one of the specific information you may find for empirical formula. When we have molecular formula, this information is not reported in the empirical formula. We have another information in empirical formula. The exact number of atoms. So exact number of atoms is going to be a specific information you may find for a molecular formula. But it looks for a structural formula, we have the same the exact number is not exclusive information for molecular formula. You may find this information in a structural formula. But we knew that for a structural formula based on the terminology, we may say connection of atoms by each other, connection between the atoms. So I'm going to give it you one example, and I may ask you to review this information and definition for this example. First, I wanted to make sure you remember that for all these three types of formula, type of elements are commonly used information. For molecular formula and structural formula, we may have this information. Exact number of atoms is applied for both of these formula, but a structural formula give us one more information. As you see here, more information belongs to a structural formula, a structural formula. But we rarely use a structural formula in general chemistry classes. We prefer to use a structural formula mostly in OCHEM or some study we need to know geometry or molecular shape of the formula. Mostly used formula is molecular formula. This one. And so far, we used molecular formula for 
all of the studies and all of the uh, lecture class as well as the uh, chapters we review here and empirical formula is new whenever we are going to discover something new or working on the properties of the compounds we need to know empirical formula before working on the definition of each one by a reviewing example a structural formula will be called Lewis structure as well so in the next videos you may find some information regarding the Lewis structure regarding the molecular shape or geometry of compounds let me work on the next slide and I give it you a couple examples here assume that we have this formula in this formula we have carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms as you see here in this formula we have two types of elements one type is carbon one type is hydrogen so please look here in this compound we have these two types of elements carbon and hydrogen carbon and hydrogen represent types of elements here we are able to count the number of each carbon and hydrogen atoms so for hydrogen atoms we have six and for the carbon atoms we have only two so I may write the formula like C2H6 two carbon atoms six hydrogens so in this formula I find type of atoms or elements I find the exact number of each one exact number of atoms and also I may find connection between atoms I may say each carbon atoms connected by three hydrogens carbon atoms connected by three hydrogens so it gives us some form some information regarding the molecular shape or geometry so connection between the atoms so this information can be found in a structural formula so I call this formula a structural formula or Lewis structure how about this formula C2H6 if I write this information like this C2H6 in this information I find type of atoms and I may find exact number of atoms exact number of atoms but I don't have any information about the connection if it's not necessary we don't need to work on the structural formula connection or molecular shape is only used for one specific particular study so C2H6 we call that molecular formula molecular formula and you mostly use molecular formula for your classes chemistry classes type of atoms as well as exact number of atoms how about if we have simplest ratio between the atoms if I have carbon and I write hydrogen the simplest ratio between these two if I divide them by two it gives us CH3 CH3 so in this formula I have type of let me write by another color to make sure you can easily categorize them type of atoms and simplest ratio between the elements so it means each carbon is going to be connected by three hydrogens simplest ratio between the carbon and hydrogen type of atoms here this type of formula we call that empirical formula empirical formula so as you see here in each example that I share with you we have some information but the main purpose of using the empirical formula we will find the properties or characteristics of compounds assume that we have like these three examples C2 H6 C3 H6 and C4 H8 
all these three compounds reported by molecular formula because we find the exact number of elements for each one. We didn't simplify them. So we call them, they are molecular formula. If I'm going to write empirical formula for them, I need to report the simplest ratio. Divide by 2, it gives us CH3. How about this one? CH2. How about this? CH2. If we look at the formula, molecular formula, compound A, B, C, they have same elements, carbon, hydrogen, but we have a variety of the number of each ones. By looking at the empirical formula, we will find that the last two compounds, B and C, they have same empirical formula. It means they belong to one family of compounds with CH2 empirical formula. They have similar properties, similar characteristics. So whenever we are going to study C3H6 and C4H8, they belong to one family of compounds. To have a better understanding regarding the what is the meaning of properties or characteristics of the compounds, I'm going to give it to you the one of the most commonly used examples, H2O and H2O2. H2O water, this one hydrogen peroxide. So both compounds, they have similar formula, hydrogen, oxygen, two hydrogens for each one. If I'm going to find molecular formula for H2O, is H2O, not simplest exact number, not simplest ratio. If I'm going to report by simplest ratio, again, H2O. So it means H2O, molecular formula and empirical formula are same. What does that mean? It means <clears throat> we may have sometimes molecular formula the same as empirical formula. It doesn't matter because you cannot simplify the number between the atoms. How about H2O2? This is a molecular formula, empirical formula, if I divide by 2, HO. So look here, these two compounds belong to two different family of compounds because they do not have the same empirical formula, HO, H2O. So you can easily drink H2O and use H2O in your daily life, but for H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, you may use that one as a bleach or if it contacts with your skin, spills on your skin, you need to follow the safety rules and probably see the physicians. So because they have two different empirical formula. Some possible question in this chapter. So I give it a question like this, C6H8O2, and I ask you to report the empirical formula for me. So whenever you are going to report empirical formula, simplest ratio. So if you divide by two, for example, you may say C3H4O. This is the empirical formula of this compound. Hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you to understand the molecular formula, empirical formula, and difference between them. Thank you for watching this video.